So it's winter, it's cold, it's drab. What do we make for dinner? Chili. It's real easy to make chili from scratch. I have some beef cubes I cut up even in the smaller pieces. I have some chopped up chopped up onion, a can of dark red kidney beans. I already drained them so that they're not slimy anymore. A um, can of black beans. I have a can of tomato sauce in case I need it. Don't know if I will yet. This is some leftover tomato vegetable juice. It's not the name brand thing that begins with a V and ends with an 8, but it's the same basic stuff. Here I have some beef bouillon if I want to use it cumin which is the taste and smell of chili basically when you're eating chili and chili powder which adds a little bit of kick is that it? pretty much and on the stove I have some macaroni because when you hear the word chili mac you put chili over cooked macaroni, it stretches it out a little bit more and it feels like you're really eating something. So that's where chili mac comes from. Stove is on. And we put the pan in place. Make sure the pan is clean. <laughs> put the pan in place. To the pan we add just a little tiny bit of olive oil. Because I'm going to saute the onions, soften them up a little bit first so that they don't give you heartburn when you're eating the chili later. You cook the oven onions a little bit first. It's always a little better. Probably take about five minutes until they soften up a little bit. My pan has, it's an old pan and it it's higher in the middle than it is on the side so I, I have to stir my things otherwise they'll, I have hot spots on the pan and then they'll burn. And I'll see you in about five minutes. That wasn't five minutes just now. No it wasn't. A couple pieces are starting to get a little too brown. So I'll, I'll just leave them in there. Now the bits of beef. You can use deer meat, bear meat, squirrel meat, whatever kind of meat you want really I think. You probably could use other meats. I salted and peppered it. I'm trying to brown it up a little bit. might take a couple minutes to brown to get it mostly browned up. I want to brown it up a little bit before I add any liquid to it. I don't have to brown it completely, just most of the way. Okay, just been a few minutes. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of browned up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I have this leftover juice stuff. I put it in there. I'm going to rinse this out with a little bit of water. And I'll put that in there as well. Alright, ready for the recycle bin. Give it a little bit of a stir. Kind of liquidy. Well, let's put the beans in and see how much we have in the way of liquid. Kidney beans. I had already taken them 
out and rinse them off because they, when they sit in a can on the shelf in the store, they get kind of slimy. Those are done. Let's stir this up a little bit. Making chili is very easy. There's so many different ways you can do it and other beans you can put in. I think kidney beans are traditional. I like putting black beans in because they are very nutritional. I sometimes put garbanzo beans or chickpeas. You can put white beans or northern beans or whatever they're called. That's about the right amount of liquid that I like with my chili. I like it thick. But I can always add some more liquid. My, I don't think I'll use that can of tomato sauce. Now, what I did here, I put some beef bouillon in water and a little cornstarch. Because I like my chili kind of thick. I don't like it watery like soup. Soak up all that stuff. And it's up on high, but this is a small burner. The one in the back, you can't see the pot if I put it back there. <laughs> this kitchen leaves a lot to be desired, although it does partially work. So, not going to complain too much. I need to buy more cumin. I am almost out of it. And I like a lot of that chili taste, so I'm putting in about a tablespoon. My sister-in-law thinks that cumin smells like feet. I don't think so. Chili powder. Chili powder is what adds a zing, and I only put about a teaspoon of that. If you put too much in there, then it overwhelms your tongue, and you really can't taste any of the other stuff. So, I'd say that's about as liquidy as I'd like to have it. I'm going to put the cover on this and cook it for about 20 minutes. Get all the flavors together. Then I'll try some over uh, macaroni with a little cheese sprinkled on top. Mmm, doggy. Mmm, <laughs> looks good. Got a little bit of macaroni. Gonna give it a taste test here. Alright. I'll put some cheese on top, and we'll give it a taste. Mmm, homemade chili mac. Homemade chili and homemade soup, it's always good on a blustery day. Cold, wintry day. This is the best, one of the best things you can have. Yum, yum. Mmm. Yummy. It's a go, yay!